congratulations on purchasing a Victor 470 upright vacuum. In this video we are going to show you how to use the machine safely and some key features of the machine to help you improve productivity and results. So let's get started. Always wash your hands thoroughly before starting and after completing any task. Make sure you are wearing the correct personal protective equipment. Before starting to clean you must put out warning signs to let people know you are working in an area. These should be placed at the entrance and exit points to the area you are cleaning. Before using a vacuum always litter pick the area to remove larger debris. This helps to prevent blockages and damage to the machine. Before using the machine make sure it is safe. The first check for electrical safety is to look for a valid PA test sticker. It is usually found on the base of the vacuum above the serial number. If there is no valid PAT sticker on the machine do not use it and report to your supervisor. Carry out a visual check of the machine to make sure it is not damaged. Before and after use it is vital to check the cable for damage. Lift the cable off the machine and using a cloth to clean it as you go check the cable for damage. Run the cable through your fingers to feel for signs of damage. Finally check the plug has a fuse and the pins are straight. Find any damage to the cable do not use the machine and report it to your supervisor. Internal wires visible through the outer casing of the cable are extremely dangerous. Do not use a machine with damage to the cable, report it to your supervisor. Check that the plug has a fuse and does not smell of burning. Now check that the pins are straight, if the pins are bent do not use the machine. The 470 upright vacuum uses a brush to clean deep into the carpet pile. It is important to check the brush before use. Make sure it is not clogged or worn. Remove the base plate by twisting the three turn buttons so that they are horizontal. You can then lift off the base plate to expose the brush. You can remove any debris caught around the brush and check the drive belt. Once any potential blockages have been removed you can replace the base plate. Making sure that you lock it back into place by twisting the turn buttons. Open the door of the vacuum to check the bag. The bag should be checked to make sure it is correctly fitted and not full or torn. If the bag is full or torn it should be replaced with a new one before the machine is used. To change the bag carefully pull it from the inlet. Make sure that you close the cardboard flap on the bag before disposing of it at your designated disposal point. Check the filter periodically and whenever you change the bag. Twist off the filter cover and lift out the filter. Make sure that the filter is clean. If it is dirty you should replace the filter with a new one. Do not simply turn the filter around so the clean side is facing up. This could cause damage to the vacuum motor. To fit a new filter just place it into the filter slot and refit the cover. Twist the cover to lock it back into place. To fit a new bag, push it over the inlet. Make sure the bag is all the way over the inlet, otherwise the door to the vacuum will not close. Once you are happy that the bag and filter are in good working order, you can close the door and check the hose and down tube. Remove the hose from the machine, then lift out the down tube. The easiest way to check for blockages in the hose and tube is to drop a coin through them. If the coin gets stuck the hose or tube is blocked. If the coin falls through the hose or tube it is clear and can be fitted back onto the machine. As you can see the hose and tube are clear. If they were blocked the blockage should be removed before refitting to the machine. Once checked replace the down tube and the hose. All your checks are now completed and you are ready to clean. Insert the RCD plug into the socket and then the plug to the machine. Finally switch on the power and activate the RCD plug. You can now turn on the machine and start cleaning. 
To clean edges and corners effectively, use the crevice tool. Remove the down tube from the machine and fit the crevice tool to the end of it. Start in a corner and work your way round the edge of the room. Using the crevice tool you can clean right up to the edge and get into any gaps in the skirting. You can also fit the dusting brush to the down tube to carry out higher level cleaning. The 470 has four brush settings, three for carpet and a hard floor setting. Turn the height adjustment control to level 1 for low profile carpet and level 3 for high carpet piles. For use on a hard floor surface, turn it to hard floor. For this carpet that has a low profile pile, we're going to use setting 1. Start vacuuming by switching the machine on. Move over the carpet with the vacuum using systematic overlapping passes. Always keep the cable behind the line of work. Pay more attention to traffic lanes where there will be more dirt. And always work towards your exit point. Once you are finished with the machine, you can switch it off and unplug it. Remember to recheck the cable after use. Keep the cable secure by clipping the plug end in place. Finally, check the bag and replace if necessary. Once you are satisfied that the area is clean and safe, you can remove the warning signs. Make sure that you clean the warning signs and your PPE before storing everything you have used correctly. Finally, don't forget to wash your hands. Thank you for watching this film. If you have a problem with the machine you cannot solve, please call the Victor Service Department on 0121 765 2353.